Boom, huge new. Oh my gosh, this is Jason from The Game Warrior. My camera's not working. If you can look in the lower bottom right corner, who cares? Okay, we're gonna read this together. This is, I believe, good news. This is massively good news. We just did a video about Six Siege and it looks like it's actually shipping and then we talk back and forth, all of you, you and me, privately and online about whether Hell and Anister were coming and now we have some amazing news. Let's go. A message from Simon with permission of Mythic Games. Dear valued member of our gaming community, they value us, don't they? We hope this message finds you in good health and high spirits. We wanted to share some important news with you. Simon, the publisher behind popular games like Zombicide, Master of Darkness, Death May Die, Blood Rage. They got to put that in there, don't they? They need to advertise. Many others has recently acquired the intellectual properties of both Hell and Anister from Mythic Games. Boom! You can't see me going boom, but you can hear me, right? All right. We understand that this news may bring mixed emotions, and we want to be upfront with you about the developments. So, at this point in time, by the way, I read to about here. So I don't know what's coming next. But at this point in time, I'm like, mixed emotions? I mean, the mixed emotions is going to be if Simon said, yeah, we bought them, and then we're going to relaunch them and charge you again. That would be a mixed emotion. Does the money we've spent count for something? That's what we want to know, right? If you ordered Anister and if you ordered Hell, I ordered Hell, not Anister, does the money you put forward count in any way to Simon? Because they're just going to take a loss on it, right? How does Simon make money doing this? So let's find out. And they might have to rerun, rerun things. We don't know. Let's go. Let's find out. Regrettably, that's not a great beginning words. The challenging news. See, there's challenging news and good news. Regrettably, the myth, as Mythic Games announced, they will no longer be able to deliver their Kickstarter campaigns for Hell and Ennister. As you are a backer of these campaigns, we understand that this is disappointing. Upon careful evaluation of both titles, we've concluded that neither Hell, The Last Saga, nor Anister are currently ready for publication in their current state and will require substantial effort to complete them. Yeah, we figured that. We want to assure you that we are committed to delivering quality and gaming experiences. That's kind of vague. Quality experiences. They didn't say they're committed to delivering this game. I think what they're trying to say there is this stuff, they could shit this out right now but it probably wouldn't be a good idea, right? Maybe that's what they're saying, that these are not ready. We could just poop them out and try to make some money, but it's not gonna work. Uh, and we appreciate your understanding and support to run our development. You've got our understanding, you've got our support, Simon. Okay, good news. Under our purview, both games will go through an extensive development play testing process at Simon. The good thing is they know what they're doing, they've done this a hundred times, a hundred times. And these new versions will be offered to the public in future. Hmm, here comes the news. We have big plans for both these worlds, including offering you, the original Mythic backers who paid for the lowest pledge level and up, a free English and French copy of each redeveloped base game if you wish to receive it. Huh. So let's pack that out. Let's take that out. So if you went in all in, if you went in on the base game, like I did for Hell. I didn't on Anister. I just got the $20, you know, access to the pledge manager. So I'll have to restart there. That's fine. I love that. Look at that game. I'll back that game with Simon behind it. Hell, I'm going to get. So what they're telling me is even though I went all in, I, I don't know if I went all in on Hell. Here, I'm going to open something on a side screen. Stay with me. Stay with me. This is this is good information. We're having a good conversation. Um, yeah, I think I went $200 in. So that's more than the base game, right? But we'll find out. Hold on. Hell! Hell! $164 and I paid 38 shipping. So I must have did something more than the base game. So all I'm going to get for free is the base copy of the game. The $100, $110 game that they do now. Right? That's what Simon does. Big $110. So I'm going to get that for free. And the rest of the money I'm going to lose. I wonder if they'll make me pay shipping again. Be interesting to find out. Um, that's where people get pissed. Right, Simon? If you're listening, Simon, good job. But if you make people who paid shipping, and I know on some areas you have. Hell is the one that I think shipping was paid on. Aster, I don't think, is closed to pledge matters, so they haven't paid shipping yet. Maybe they have. I don't know. So that's interesting. Let's keep reading. Good. 
I get a base game. I get something out of this, right? And hopefully they relaunch Anastir and I go all in on that and it all works out. When the campaigns for Helen Anastir first launched, we, like many of you, were excited by the promise of what each of those worlds had to offer. You, the mythic backers, took a chance on what those games could be, and we'd like to acknowledge your efforts by offering you a free copy of the new CMON versions for each title that you backed with Mythic. If you paid Mythic Backer of Hell, if you are a paid Mythic Backer of Hell at the Berserker Pledge or higher, Berserker Pledge, that's what I got. I also got the Neoprene map, okay? At the Berserker Pledge or higher, you have the option of getting a free copy of CMON's Hell. Awesome. Look, they're doing the best they can. I know, you're out there pissed. No, 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 I want my whole thing. You're not getting it. None of us. Let it go. Let it go. Gosh, I wish you could see my face. Let it go and, and see what good is happening here, right? Something good is happening. It's not the best, but it's good. Be positive. Vibrate positive and clap your hands. So I'm going to get a copy of Hell, the base game, and it's going to be good. Thank you. All right. Awesome. I didn't back Anastir except for 20 bucks. So I'm not getting anything free from them. Fine. No, no loss, no whatever. Okay. Um, this is offer of the base game only and not possible future expansions. If you're interested in this offer, you will be responsible for third-party charges such as shipping and VAT. So it sounds like I'm going to pay shipping again for hell. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Boo! But have to do it, right? I get it. I get it. I get it, Simon. You're doing what you can. It's important to state that these games will not be the same mythic games you initially backed. Ooh. As mentioned above, after a deep dive into the available materials, we determined that both games need significant work and development. As a result, both games will be new products different from what we offered during the mythic campaigns. That's fair. That's fair. Mythic games will send notifications to the appropriate mythic backers asking you for permission to share your backer information with us at CMON. If you approve, we will create your order in our system, indicating you are part of the new Hell and Anister project and are tied to one copy of the games we will produce. Once your order is created, you'll be kept informed of developments on these projects. Please note, this offer is not a settlement taken on behalf of Mythic Games. It's simply a gift from Simon. Thank you. Boom! Hey, thank you. It's good. It's good. We've got some movement. And all the hate can go away, right? I mean, we all knew it was going to be tough for them. But it, look, Six Siege is on the boats. The one we're all probably going to take a bath on is Monster Apocalypse, which is too bad because Privateer Press is associated with them. But this will be good. They can get this done. They could get, they could just, I don't know if they're going to finish Darkest Dungeon. It doesn't matter. I don't have Second Wave. I don't care. I'm going to take a bath on Hell a little. Um, and then hopefully they'll do new campaigns for both games. Look, we liked these games. So CMON taking care of them is going to be good. And if they do a new campaign of both, they develop them, they make them their own, boom, we're going to be happy. This is going to work out. Okay. It, it, who is CMON? Some questions. Uh, yeah, we know who they are. We don't need that. Is this a partnership? No. Beyond CMON's total acquisition of some mythic IPs, including Helen Esther, there's no business relationship. This folks, okay, good. They own them. They're doing them. They're probably just getting them for free. I mean, what would they pay for them? Nothing. Maybe a little, you know, maybe enough to get Darkest Dungeon Wave 2 out. Or maybe this is all enough. Here's the question. <laughs> what did Mythic do with those millions of dollars on Hell and Anister? I know Anister was of disappointment. I still think they got one million and a half million dollars. What did they do with that? <laughs> really, God bless them. I know. I told you before. We have compassion. I wish you could see my face. Um, they screwed up, right? They just mismanaged this. But don't hate on them. Why? Because that hate rebounds to you. Listen to me. That hate rebounds to you. Don't do it. Forgive. Seriously, forgive them. I forgive you. What's his name? Lou? I can't remember his name. Leo. Leo, I forgive you. I forgive you all. Total forgiveness. You made a mistake. Even if you were evil, I forgive you. I don't care. I'm not, I'm not going down the hate path. It's, no, it's not worth it. Okay, is CMON taking over Mythic Games campaign pages for Hell and Anister? No, will not be taking over either project or any game. What will be the difference between Mythic versions and CMON games? Well, it's too early to get those specifics. I agree. And a lot can change between now and when we're ready. We're currently working on making the game stay true to the original version while making sure the quality of the final product lives up to our standards. For Hell, we're focusing the content on fewer but more robust stories. While for Anister, our development is concentrated on reducing the complexity found in a number of regions. Okay, cool. Which Mythic Bastards may request a free game? 
we already set, figured this out. If you paid Mythic Bastard for Hell, pledge or higher, you have the option of getting a free copy. If you paid Mythic ba uh, Bastard at the companion level, which I didn't, you have the option to get okay. If you have multiple eligible, you may receive additional copies. Please note any stretch goals or optional buys promised in Mythic Games are not part of these new versions. So you lose them all, folks. We are unable to pay for third-party charges, such as shipping, so we have to do that. How do I get my free game? They'll send us that. How long to decide if I want the free game? Don't care. What if I sign up for my free copy but change my mind? Doesn't matter. When do I need to pay for third-party charges like shipping? Uh, as per the usual CMON process. So they'll provide it. Which language will it be? English and French. Will the Mythic Games versions of Hell Anister be released? Will the Mythic Games versions of Hell? No. No, those are never coming. When will the CMON version of the game? We don't have solid estimates, but probably in the next year or two. All right, all right, all right. Okay, we're done. We're done. We did it. What do you think? A tap, a tap, a tap, a tap. Let's get on it. Let's get in on it. I'm going to be one of the first people doing this video. Isn't that crazy? And you don't get to see my beautiful face. All right. Much love to you all. I preach it. I preach it because I believe it and I do it. Forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. And something is coming from this movement. It's good. It's a release. Love you all.